Hi everyone, welcome back to Liberty Park Music. Today we'll be learning the basics of funk rhythm guitar as well as the most popular rhythm guitar exercise for funk music in existence. Um, as usual, if you have any questions, you can just write it in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Also, if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well as we greatly appreciate that. One thing you should know is most funk rhythm guitar parts, they are based off of 16th note rhythms and the syncopations that can be created by accenting certain 16th notes. So first, let's count. Yeah, so I can give you an example of what this sounds like. So we're all familiar with counting the downbeats. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right? Now let's in let's add in the end beats which are which will help us count the eighth note. So instead of just one, two, three, four, we're gonna count one and two and three and four and right. So these beats, the end beats, they are exactly between every downbeat, yeah? Now let's add in the E and the E uh beats, which will help us count the 16th notes. So instead of just one, two, three, four, or one and two and three and four and, now we're gonna do this. One and two and three and four and one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, right? So those, are the, the one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, that is how we count 16th notes. Now we're gonna do this while chucking on the muted strings of the guitar. So let's just mute the strings with our left hand, just by touching the strings lightly. And then we're gonna do this. So one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. Notice on the ands, I'm still doing down strums. Now on the E and the Ers, I'm gonna do up strums as well. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So the majority of funk rhythms are just knowing when to press down on the strings to get the chord to ring. So let me show you this on an E9 chord. Now let's start by chucking the 16th notes again with the muted strings. So one, two, three, four, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a. So I'm gonna keep this going. Now I'm gonna press down on certain beats and you'll hear a basic funk groove come in. Yeah, notice the the basic rhythm of the sixteenth notes doing this. It's still there. It's still one E Anna, two E Anna, three E Anna, four E Anna. It's just that sometimes I don't hit the strings and sometimes I hit the strings while pressing down and sometimes I hit the strings while muting the strings as well. So there are varying techniques on the left hand that will help you with getting your funk rhythm as well as the right hand as well. All right, now let's change it up a little bit. So that was something that went like this. So we're gonna do something else. Let's let's check out something that goes uh, uh, so one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So as you can see, a lot of funk guitar playing is just getting good at combining the muted strums with the strummed notes. So how do we get good at mixing up strummed notes with muted notes? as well as learning how to feel where those syncopated beats fall, where the E, where the N, where the Ers fall, right? It's, it's pretty tricky to feel where those beats should fall initially. So this is where that funk guitar exercise comes in because this exercise will teach you, first of all, how to mix between muted strums and plate strums, as well as how to feel where those E, N, and Er counts lie. All right, so... Before I begin, this is quite possibly the most popular funk guitar exercise in existence, so I thought I'd spice it up a little bit uh, by giving varying degrees of difficulty so you can use this exercise for a very, very long time. 
So the most difficult part of this exercise initially is getting your strings to be muted cleanly. So what I mean by cleanly is this is clean. This is not clean. Yeah, so you want to get a clean mute most of the time. So to facilitate the muting and to make it easier, let's start with bar chords for our exercise because bar chords are very, very simple to mute. As you can tell, I'm going to play an A major bar chord. All you have to do to mute the strings is just release the pressure. And because of the shape of the bar chord, I'm already going to be muting the strings. Yeah, play, mute, play, mute, play, mute. Right? So pretty simple. Now, let's check out how to do this exercise. So the concept of this exercise is very simple. We're going to start with the metronome playing in the background. So the metronome is going to go at about 70 beats per minute. Yep, that's right, it's 70 beats per minute. And then we'll start chucking first on the 16th notes. So one E anna, two E anna, so on and so forth. Then we're going to play only the downbeats. So instead of one E anna, two E anna, three E anna, four E anna, we're going to go one E anna, two E anna, three E anna, four E anna. Notice how I played all of the downbeats, right? Then next, we're going to play all the E beats. So one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So all the up strums, right? Then next, we'll do all the and counts. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a four E and a. Right? And last but not least, we will do all of the er uh counts. So 1 E and er, uh, 2 E and er, uh, 3 E and er, uh, 4 E and er, uh, 1 E and er, uh, 2 E and er, uh, 3 E and er, uh, 4 E and er. Uh. Right? Then once we can do each of the individual 16th note subdivisions, 9th and cleanly, we'll combine the entire exercise and we'll do one bar of downbeats, one bar of the E, one bar of the and, and one bar of the er uh counts. So, we're gonna play my metronome and we're gonna start on the downbeats first, the one, two, three, four. So here's the metronome. So just on the downbeats first. So one, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a chuck first to get the rhythm. And now downbeats one, two. So it feels like I've got this downbeats pretty cleanly. So let's move on to the E counts. Two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a. So again, sounds like I got this down pretty tight. Now let's move on to the and counts. So one, two, three, four. One E and two E and a three E and a four E and a. That's what it's gonna sound like. Yeah. So one, two, three E and a. Oh, let me get the count again. One, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Yeah. So that's the and counts. Now let's do this on the er counts. One. Sorry. One, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Now I've done the downbeats, the one, two, three, fours, the E counts, the and counts, and the er counts. Now we're gonna combine all of them to play one bar of downbeats, one bar of the E counts, one bar of the and, and one bar of the er. So this is what it sounds like. So one, two, three, four. Downbeats. One, two, three, four. E, one E. N. Uh. That repeat down. E. N. So 
you get the idea. It's pretty simple. So the concept of this exercise is very, very simple. We're just going to play on the downbeats, then the E, and then the N, and then the E. Uh. And once we can do those different beats and different subdivisions individually, we'll combine all of them together, play each subdivision for one bar, and then just run through that cycle over and over again. And you can even increase the speed of your metronome. Uh, you should probably increase the speed of your metronome, in fact. All right, hey, by the way, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate that. That is the end of our video. Also, if you want more rhythm guitar lessons, uh, even a full rhythm guitar course, you can check out our website at libertyparkmusic.com for many, many different kinds of full courses. We have piano, guitar, drums, music theory. Um, I think that's pretty much it. All right, take care, everyone, and I will see you in the next video lesson. Peace.